flows. Love, the flower in the garden of the being. Ishq, kainat ka karishma hai. Love is the mystical miracle of the existence. I cannot tell you what is love. Certainly I can tell you how to find your soul, how to discover your being, your innerness. That is my whole work, to help you to meditate, to help you to become aware, more aware, more alert, so that slowly and slowly you can start seeing that you are not just a body, not just the mind, that there is something else hidden behind it all, behind the body, behind the mind. That is the real life, that is your innerness, that is your being. For this, I cannot plant, sow the seeds in an unfertile soil. If the soil is unfertile, the seeds will not grow. So an awakened one has to prepare the soil so that it does not remain any more barren, it becomes fertile, and then seeds of awakening are sown. And once you become aware of your real life, your being, you will know that the joy of being is so overflowing that one wants to share it with someone who is receptive, someone who is available, with someone who is ready to open his heart to someone whose soil is becoming more and more fertile. Love is a spiritual experience. It has nothing to do with sex, nothing to do with bodies, but something to do with innermost being. Love blossoms like a rose flower and spreads its beauty and fragrance. If you really want to know love, forget about love. Remember about meditation. And meditation is the only technique for the flower of love to blossom, grow, and open its petals. And the moment the petals are open, nothing else is to be done. The beauty, the fragrance, the luster, the delicacy, the aliveness manifests. If you want to bring roses into your garden, forget about roses and take care of the rose bush. Give it nourishment, water it, take care of it that it gets right amount of sun, water and nourishment. If everything is taken care of and provided in the right quantum, the rose, roses, the flowers are destined to come at the right time. You cannot bring them earlier. You cannot force them to come. You cannot force them to open up sooner than. And you cannot ask a rose flower to be more perfect. It knows how to blossom. And when it blossoms, it knows. It not, it spreads its beauty fragrance, aliveness, delicacy, and all that it is. Have you ever seen a rose flower that is not perfect? So it is erroneous to say that someone is not a perfect person. What more do you want? <coughs> 
every rose flower is perfect, total, in its uniqueness. Each one of you is total in your uniqueness. Dancing each flower is unique, is perfect, is total in its uniqueness. Dancing in the wind, in the rain, in the sun, cannot see the tremendous beauty and absolute joy? Can't you see the tremendous beauty and absolute joy? Are you not vulnerable to the beauty, the aliveness, the joy that the rose flower manifests while dancing under the sun with the wind? And as the raindrops fall on it, a small ordinary rose flower radiates the hidden splendor of the existence. <laughs> what the rose flower is radiating is nothing else but the splendor of existence. Love is the rose flower in your being, but prepare your being. It is the soil that has to be nourished and nurtured so that the rose, the roses begin to blossom in your inner being. Dispel the darkness, the unconsciousness. Become more and more alert and aware. Love will come on its own accord as the blossoming of the rose flowers. Why am I using the rose flower alone? Because rose is known as the king of flowers. And when it comes to opening of the petals, the example is given of the lotus. Lotus has its beauty, lusher, splendor, delicacy, and divine resonance, but it does not have fragrance. As a human being, you must have one thing more, fragrance. When a lotus blossoms, its beauty manifests in myriad ways. Love is a spiritual experience that has nothing to do with sex, sex or bodies. It has something to do with your innermost being. But you have not even entered into your own temple. But you have not yet entered in your own inner temple. You don't know at all who you are. And you are asking about love. You do not know who you are. Still you are asking what is love. First be thyself. First know thyself. Love will come as the reward. As the blossoming. As the opening. It is the reward from the unknown. It is the reward from the unknown, often abased, disfigured, and mocked by the baser might by different names that steal its name and fame and grandeur. It is a reward from the beyond. It showers on you like flowers, fills your being and it goes on showering on you and it brings with it tremendous longing and it brings with it tremendous longing to share. Love is sharing. The clouds are showering, they are sharing and under the cloud, overjoyed, you are sharing yourself as dance, 
as sown in myriad ways. Clouds are sharing, the sun is sharing, the, the wind is sharing, and you are sharing. It is an occasion of sharing. Sharing myriad ways according to individual capacity. And it goes on showering on you and brings tremendous longing to share. That sharing can only be indicated in human language as love. That sharing in your language can only be indicated, explained and understood as love. It does not say much. It is an unseen but realized truth. It says nothing. It says not much, but does much more in your being when it is shared. It indicates, it does not say much, but indicates the right direction. Love is a shadow of alertness, of consciousness. I teach you to be more conscious. As you are more conscious, you will become As you become more conscious, love will come to you. Love will become more and more conscious because love is the guest that comes. Love is the guest that comes inevitably to those who are ready and prepared to receive it. If your house is not ready, you have not made the arrangements to receive the guest. The guest will not come. You have to invite the guest. You have to prepare, make arrangement when the guest visits you. How are you going to welcome the guest when it comes to you? And love is the most precious guest that can come to you house. Love needs immense consciousness. Love is the meeting of two souls and lust is the meeting of two bodies. Lust is animalistic. Love is divine. But unless you know that you are a soul, you cannot understand what is love. Unless You are a soul, you have explored your innerness, you cannot understand what is love. In, in the company of one whose being is pulsating in myriad ways, something begins to pulsate deep within you and in that moment in that commune, in that union, you experience, you get the taste of your being and as a reward, you experience love. Love needs immense consciousness, immense consciousness, enough for now. 